Hey everybody, it's Ripley, back again. Um, I'm gonna bring joy to your hearts. This is gonna be probably one of the easier sections that we do because it's just a, a, a direct extension of what we did back in Calc 2. Do you remember when we had, um, back on the AP exam, they gave us X of T and Y of T, and this was the position vector, and then they asked us for the velocity, and we're like, oh, that's that makes us happy because it's just X prime, Y prime, Right? Remember that? And then they asked for the acceleration vector and all that good stuff, and that gave us x double prime at t, y double prime at t. Remember that? Yeah, guess what? Since r of t is simply defined as x of t, y of t, and then, oh, scary, one more vector, or excuse me, one more um, component, it, it follows exactly the same way. I know that the, velo this is an R by the way, not a B. I know that the velocity vector, just from previous experience, and we've shown this over and over again with derivatives of vectors is the vector of the derivative, and if this is the position, in sp the position vector in space, then V of T is gonna equal R primed of T, which is just gonna equal, you guessed it, X prime of T, Y prime of T, and then, of course, z prime of t, right? We've seen this. We're not afraid at all. Again, I, I'm, I st like to stick to this notation because the i's, j's, and k's, when you've got all these vectors, and, and they're, some are bolded and some aren't, um, I, I, yeah, I'm going to stick with this notation, but we need to be able to translate this into x prime of ti. Remember, this is x prime of ti plus y prime of t. J so that we get that horizontal vertical and then up down um, feel to it z prime of t okay all right so let's not it's not that I mean lazy it's just I'm kind of trying to stick with the notation um, you, sometimes you'll see this written as a matrix too all right like if you ever putz around on on Khan Academy you'll see this guy written like this or dy over dt z prime of t dz over dt etc cetera, etc cetera. but I'm gonna stick just for simplicity's sake I'm gonna stick to this guy. What do you think A of C is going to be? Well, <laughs> how do I get from velocity to acceleration, right? It's just going to be R double prime of T, which is equal to V prime of T, which is equal to this guy, which is X double prime of T, Y double prime of T, Z double prime of t and let's not forget our good buddy speed right what was speed hopefully looks hopefully you remember that speed is just equal to the square root of x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared oops I'm missing a parenthesis in there aren't I plus z prime of t now let's not get away from our notation remember this is also equal to ds over dt, which is also the magnitude of r prime of t. I'm throwing a lot of notation at you, but as long as you can remember the relationship between arc length and these velocity vectors and all of that, you should be just fine. That's literally all I'm throwing at you in this section. We're going to put it to work for us, but that's all that it is. And it's important. It's really important. You're going to use it in your physics courses. You're going to use it um, with all kinds of uh, uh, issues that we deal with later in the it'll it'll pop up it'll bubble up from time to time um, in some of the later word problems and applications problems so I just want to make sure that you have it I'm not trying to be glib but like I said it's just an extension of what we've already done all right thank you for your time and attention look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we get down to the nitty-gritty and we get to do some of these problems that, that deal with uh, velocity acceleration